Grant Cardone here. Hope you're doing well. By the way, subscribe to the channel. I'm always coming here breaking down, uh, you know, big salaries like I did last last couple of weeks on some baseball players and football players. And today I'm talking to you about Beyonce and Jay Z. By the way, superstars, unbelievable success stories, phenomenal what these guys have done. They deserve to do whatever and any almost anything they want to do with their money. But I want to break down the recent per the house they purchased in Malibu. They literally bought about four miles from where I live. I'm on Carbon Beach. They're in Paradise Cove. Beautiful, fantastic Malibu, California. And for the last 20 years, Malibu keeps going up in value because it's just like super, super uh, elite people living there. Okay, now I'm gonna take his house that he broke down. He paid $200 million for the house. Put about, how many zeros we got here? Eight, eight zeros. Rehab, they're gonna spend 50 million on it. I guarantee you, no matter what they think they're gonna spend, it's gonna be more than they think. It'll probably be 25% of the purchase price of the house. That's a fair price to use. They're gonna spend 0.005% for 10 years on property taxes. Let's assume they keep the house for 10 years. And I'm gonna show you why this is a nasty, nasty, nasty investment, okay? That's gonna be 12 million, if I got my math right, 12 million five hundred thousand dollars over the 10-year period you can't get away from property taxes they reassess on the new value because of the rehab he did maintenance there's no way it's impossible for him to get away with less than one percent of the maintenance on if the home was worth 10 million it's going to cost him about 100 grand a year i'm thinking this is going to cost him oh my god he's going to have security maintenance landscapers uh painting roofs problem situations plumbing parties all that stuff let's say he spends another i'm going to cut it back to about a half a percent let's say he spends 1% of 200 million is gonna be 2 million bucks a year. So let's make that 1% uh, times 10, 1% times 10. So he's got another $20 million in maintenance that you can't get away from. In addition to all the security those guys have to have because of who they are. Broker sale, when he goes to sell this asset, a broker's gonna try to get 6%. They'll never pull that off. Let's say he pays a flat 2% on the sale, and let's say they just break even. That would be $50 million right here in broker fees. 2%, no, I'm sorry, 2% of $250 million would be $5 million in fees. I could see them negotiating that, okay? They'll probably get some kind of fixed, fixed, hey, I'll give you 3 million or 4 million or 2.5 million. I'll probably put a couple of brokers on the deal actually and pay them some kind of premium above the, the, the number. But look, I'm going to show you the number they have to get just to break even. Okay. Guarantee they're going to lose money on this house. Cost of money. We have not even figured. You're probably thinking to yourself 250, 262, 282. They're at 287 to break even right now, but you haven't figured the cost of money. What is the cost of money? You're like, oh, these people are going to pay cash for the house. Probably not. They're probably going to put a mortgage on this house. Okay. However, if they pay cash, 250 million, and they could put that money over at a bank that I'm at right now and earn 0 0.05, they would, they would earn 12.5 million every year, every year on that money. That's $125 million. If I did my math right, and I think I did, 5% a year times 10 years is 50% on that price. That's 125, I know that's right. Okay, do you understand? For them to break even, for them to get to break even, 200, 250, 262, 282, 287 plus 125, they need to sell the house for a grand total, ladies and gentlemen, of $312 million one third of a billion dollars to, yes, break even, okay? That's a break even. This is why homes are bad investments, okay? Now, are they in a position to do it? God dang right they are. They can do any damn thing they want. There's gotta be some music that he's got for this right now, Johnny, that you would lay in there. He's got FU money right now. He's got like whatever. I don't care. I'm worth two and a half billion dollars. You're going to throw money away somewhere, okay? This is why these guys, when you get to that level, you can buy a yacht that's 300 million and spend 30 a million, uh, 30 million a year on it. And when you buy the yacht, you know you're going to lose money on it. You're going to sell it for less than you paid for. Same reason people can buy planes. Same reason he went and bought this freaking mega mega mansion. 
that isn't really even that mega mega. I mean, when you take a look at it, they'll put some pictures. You know they're gonna spend money to make this thing right. Would you do this deal? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that to answer the question, would you do this deal if you were worth two and a half billion dollars, $2.5 billion and growing, because those guys are young, man, they're hot. Is that enough, enough zeros? Maybe another, no, something like that, okay, it's so much money. 2.5 bricks. If you had a net worth of two and a half billion dollars, would you buy one house for $200 million? No matter how much you loved it, would you buy one house for $200 million? That you would have to sell for 312 just to break even. One house, one lot, one location, one place in the world. You know what they could do? They could rent this place, right? They could rent this place and pay a million dollars a month. Watch this, a million dollars a month a million a week, make it a million a week, make, wait, make it $4 million a month, and they could stay there three months, they could stay 12 million, spend $12 million every year, times 10 years, just do this over and over and over again, every damn year, go there and pay $120 million and save themselves, oh, just a cool 200. That's what they paid for the house. And by the way, that don't stand for Beyonce. That ain't bay, that's break even. Is it a good deal? What do you think? If you had two and a half bricks, would you spend that much money on one house? Let me know in the comments.